Hello everybody, my name is Caillou Can and welcome to Fran Bow. Uh I believe a horror game that was more popular many years ago, but it missed my radar. So I'm coming back to it now and playing it again, which fits the theme, because I just finished Slender the Arrival, so and I I think this game was out around a similar time. It basically follows a young girl whose parents die, I believe. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. I believe this is our main character, Fran. I see my parents. They look happy. Yes, they do. What lovely parents to have. They have a present for me. I wonder. Oh, oh it's, it's a cat. So pretty and sweet. Dark is the deepest night. That looks like my cat. I have, a, I have a black cat. It's Mr. Midnight. Hello, Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. Hi Aunt Grace. It's Friday, my parents are going out. We got Mr. Midnight here, we're chilling. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mom. Screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Da Daddy? Uh, that's a little terrifying. So yeah, I guess I guess her parents do do die. Thought they went out for the night, but I guess that never happened. Mr. Midnight's here to protect us, though. Uh, I didn't like that Satan was right outside the window, though. That was not very pleasant to look at. Oh, don't be scared, Mr. Midnight. It's all right. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Uh, you know what? I feel like death, because, you know, I feel like my world just caved in. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you would make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Bro, my, my, my parents are fucking dead. Recovery, don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Better? Well, let me go. Free me. You should not tell me how to do my job. No, I want to go home. But now I have something for you, Fran. Uh, what is it? What kind of gift do you have for me? Is it a lollipop? See the desk? There's a package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh, it's better be a lollipop. I could use a lollipop, you know? This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Oh, letter. Use combine. Okay. Use? I can't use this. Maybe. Okay, examine. 
Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to exam objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Uh, uh, Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. You know, I gotta go see Aunt Grace. Don't worry about it, she's fine. Can I leave? Please, I want to go explore the world. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. No more medicine. I don't want to take the meds. <laughs> it's called Duotine. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Uh, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll take the meds. I don't feel good. Why are we supposed to eat it with something? Oh, Jesus Christ! I don't like this. Mm, it's too early in the morning for me to be seeing things like that. Oh, no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't ever let her take this ever again. That was uh not necessary. I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't need to see that. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you and bring you back to insanity. Alright, shut up, Satan. Fran, wake up. I need Satan to leave me alone. I've been through so much. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Alright, we gotta go hunt down Mr. Midnight. Find my man. Let's see what's, uh, chapter one. My sober day. Day without the meds, I assume is what that's referring to. I'm awake. I feel like the flickering light woke me up. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. I gotta go to the forest. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had no idea what the gameplay was of this game going in. I don't know. It was gonna be like a... Kind of like an escape room kind of thing. Red and Timmy, you are hiding from me. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Hate the monster. Oh, damn you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. Don't be afraid, kitty. Everything will be fine. Uh, uh, um. I don't want to. I just woke up. A sweet song. I don't like this uh, picture of a clown that's just hanging there. Uh, it's a little, little menacing. All right. Uh, name Fran Bo Dagenhart. Age 10, gender female. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dion has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. This is like a long time ago. Locked. Good reason to get curious. All right. Well, let's go and find the key. Oh, no. I'm knocking things over. I broke the curtains. Wheelchair. Is that for me? My legs are just fine. Oh, okay. Empty bottle. Empty glasses. Nothing useful. Towels. I don't think I need any of this. Okay. I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. What's she writing? Never let me touch anything. I know the nurse always keeps the medicine, but where? Oh, I want to know what she's right. Okay. So, wait, is the medicine up there? What's up? Is there anything up there? We have the same stuff. Okay, never mind. Uh, can we see out the window? Ugh. Tower defense, we have you a crazy person called Fern. Ooh, creepy outside. I don't like the, the dead witch's forest. Oh, there's there's more people. Oh, a secret box. 
Let's use it. <gasps> I found the key. Okay. Use tiny key with this. Wait, do I not still have the tiny key? Oh, wait, I do. Okay. Use the tiny key. Aha! And we get a family photo with my now gone parents. And I got something else. A hair clip. Okay, well, I can't really use the hair clip with anything. Um. Oh, wait, I can use that to pick a lock. Use it's a bobby pin. So when I see a lock, I shall I shall put it to good use. Probably over here. I hope somebody loves you. Oh, I'm sure somebody loves Teddy, bro. Hello, Phil. Hello. Know any way out? There are many ways out. Everything's locked. It's no fair. Indeed, but the office is the key. All right, bye. It's locked. Okay, now I wonder if I can use this. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. No, is this Phil's file? Fillmore Brunstone. Age eight, gender male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brownstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior. Paranoid not yet diagnosed. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Screaming with Darren. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. If I sit down eventually, I'll put the point. Okay. So I need one more thing then to put in the lock. I got this. Uh what about the broken handle? A handy hook. Ahaha! <laughs> I have solved the mysteries. Alright, let's use the hook with the door. <sighs> you know, I thought I was onto something for a second. Where where do I go from here? I thought I was all smart and like suave. You know, getting myself a hook and everything. Turns out that is not the case. An equally creepy playground. I wish to not go out there. Hello, nurse. Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. How long was I sleeping? Three days. Well, that, that, I'm hungry. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was. Medicine, that's why you're not taking it anymore. Lady nurse, I did something. What? Oh no, what did I do? Oh, I broke the curtains. So then we can read the journal. Aha. Accidentally, I have to fix this. Follow me. Yeah, I'll follow you and dress the second nurse. Have fun fixing the curtains. The nurse is still inside this room. She'll just go crazy if I touch anything. All right, let's go follow her. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain? Nope. I have no idea where the hook is. Never seen a hook before in my life. Do I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl? Now we read. Mwahaha. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like we got band-aids. Uh, medicine. A gun. Okay. Uh, room four, nurse visiting report, nurse name, Gladys, uh, something, Franvo, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time, she only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that, after drinking, she goes to sleep again, she has been sleep, she has been something, I can't read that word, I'm sorry, for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come and play. Patient. Or do. Yeah, it has to be patient. A H. I don't understand three words. Yeah, I, I do not. I'm not good with reading that. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficiency. Some villagers distressing them. Okay. It's, it's just a textbook. And then a cup of tea. Ew. 
We don't like coffee. So I just need the code to open the medicine. Well, this does not help me at all. I have no idea what kind of code. Uh, I wonder if Phil knows the code. Phil definitely knows the code. Hello, Phil. My homie Phil better know. Uh, how are you? Uh, that's stupid. Uh, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside. Secret code. Open the yellow door. Him. Please die. Hello, Satan. All doors are closed. You're a prisoner of my games. Uh, Satan, this is not necessary. And nobody will help you escape. So I guess Phil does not know the code. Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. I won't let the monster stop me. Okay, well, that was a little scary. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Okay, so we need... I need something. Wait, do I have... Hold on. Was there something else back that I could use for the, for the door? Let me go back and check. Um, the spoon would be kind of nice. How's the word the doctor loves to say? That brain looks like a turtle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, AB, so A, H. What is going on? I'm confused. So A, H is circled. Nothing useful. I feel like I'm going to get stuck a lot. I have a seek, sneaking suspicion. Not so easy to see through this. So I'm behind the clown, maybe. I'm having a hard time laughing again. Hmm. I don't... What do I use the hook on? I feel like I have to use the hook to get something. Um, so we got bandage, we got the medicine, no hook. Hook on the painting? Nothing. Ooh, well, let me go check my notes. Let me see if my notes say anything. Uh, hate the monster. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, I'm so- I'm already stuck. It is the first room of the game and I am stuck. Wait. Combine. What? Sometimes things just- I'm confused! Can I combine? I can't combine these two, right? Yeah. And I need something else to fill the hole. What about this bed? A bed! Well, that doesn't help me any. Cute little melody. What am I missing here? I, I, I might need to rack my brain. Empty bottle, empty glass, towels. I don't need towels. And there's nothing more over here, I don't think. There's a gun. A note that says 8H. But Phil, can you help me out here, buddy? Find the doctor's code yet. It's in the office.
piece one two one one four I don't think I have to match your case numbers. That'd be absurd. Wait. Hide. <gasps> Wait, I got it. Okay. Wait, oh my god, I'm stupid. That took me way too long. It's, uh... Eight... Nine, it's eight nine four five. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. The pills, Kitty told me this would help. So, what? So, what happens if I take one? Oh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. Um. Creepy creatures, a dead nurse, a dead rabbit. Oh, I'm not a fan. Okay, the staircase down. Um, hi, Phil. Uh, uh, to happiness. Oh, so, okay, so I need to get out and get to happiness. Let's uh, go downstairs, maybe. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know you can Oh, that's Aunt. That's Aunt Grace. That's not, I want her to take her home now. It's not appropriate yet. Because you keep giving me medication that makes me do this. Oh, I passed out. Oh, no. Oh, it's a dead fox now. Was that real? Oh, dear. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor's no soul. I'm going home tonight. Uh, Maybe, maybe not if there's a dead fox. So I can't combine these two, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh dear God. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So, okay. Um, this is a shadow here. Phil is playing with his uncle in the, oh no. It's all right, Phil. Oh, this makes me feel very uneasy. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, oh, is that okay? So I had three creatures. So what else is in the office that I can that I can make use of? Nothing. Yeah, just more empty bottles. What is this? A needle, a sewing needle. See now that seems useful to me, because I feel like a sewing needle would fit the door. If it, there are two holes, okay. Do I need to combine them? Okay, I do need to combine them. I understand now. Let me in. Uh, it was a creepy guy. Oh, okay. So I can switch between the two of them. Uh, hi, Pip Pip. The king like drawing let's uh let's remove the pills here let's see if maybe i can uh, in your room the door was closed you left it open i don't have a key i'm sure it was not open i know because i locked it how did i get out then it was open don't try to trick me go inside your room and wait for the doctor Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, I think I'll get used to the whole blood and gore thing as I play more. I'm also very stupid at like puzzle games like this, so I apologize that it's going to take me a bit to get through some parts. This is not my strong suit for games. Um, if you enjoyed, check out some of my other videos. They're going to be on screen right now. You can go watch them. I highly recommend. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. See ya!